Over the course of the next two weeks, I'm gonna be making a new animation demo reel, and I wanna take you along for the ride. As a voice actor, your demo reel is your calling card. It is one of the most important things that you can have when it comes to showing your talents. You always wanna show, don't tell. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Javon, otherwise known as Jay the VA Online, and I am a full-time voice actor, and I usually self-produce my own demos, but this year is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna take you through the step-by-step -step process that I do in order to create my own demo reel so that you can do the same thing. And then at the end of this experience, I'm planning on having one professionally done so that we can see the comparison, the differences between the two products so that you can get a better idea of whether you wanna self-produce your own demo or get one professionally done. But first, let's get some research done. Uh, so everybody's worst part, research. What? actually goes into the research for a self-produced demo reel. Well, you can't just throw a whole bunch of stuff together because it will sound terrible. This is what you gotta do. So, what are we actually researching here? Let's actually take a look at some of the popular and selling demo tracks from actual well-established demo producers to see what we should be trying to emulate. Guys, this pig. Uh, it's getting worse! I'm turning into a monster! There's only one way! It's feces! My mom makes it! Uh, uh, you gotta get me home! Sharina, you gotta help me! Okay, so first things first, I'm seeing that that first demo was 10 seconds. A lot of the popular wisdom that I get, your demos, each, not, not the whole demo, but each sample should be 10 seconds, maybe 12 seconds, if it is a very strong character. Not only that, but the transition was pretty seamless. The transition from one scene to another, it didn't have a cut, it, it just keeps you going. Let's keep listening. I swiped these from Mr. Fletcher's lab. The master race of aliens who disguised as pigs have come to Earth to spread a mutant porcine virus. Who dares to enter my kingdom without my permission? See, really seamless. Whatever and once again, you seek 10 seconds. Here, you will not find. With my arrow swift and sure, I will make this kingdom pure. With my sword of shining truth, I shall. If I don't take any risks, there's no way I can beat you. Isn't that right? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Now this is Demos That Rock from Chuck Duran. He is the head demo producer and let me tell you, he does some incredible work. Now one of the main things that I'm seeing here, that I'm hearing here, this sounds more so like a movie that's already published. The voice fits in very nicely and it's very front heavy on all of the mixing. That's usually a bad thing because front heavy mixing can translate to a muddier mix. But in this case, when you have someone who knows what they're doing, it makes it seem like you're actually listening to a movie versus just listening to a demo. So let's take a listen to a second company that I thoroughly enjoy. The company is Extra Terrible. And let's take a listen. In sun. Hear me, O oh gods of sky and sun. Grant me the power to light the dark and banish the shadow. Ethereal, die! You thought I was your friend? Once again, under 10 seconds. I just had to cover my tracks. So I used the nearest idiot I can find. That just so happened to be you. Please, just give me one more chance. I know that the last 12 times didn't go so great, but this time, I got the serum just right. I've never seen markings like this before. It looks ancient, like it was built during the age of the gods. We circled this quadrant seven times. We're not gonna- Okay, just like before, each of these are under 10 seconds. It's fantastic. And one of the things that I do notice that is a difference between Extra Terrible and uh, Demos That Rock would be the transitions. Now, this seems like it's one sample, one sample, one sample. Now, the voice is very prominent, it's very forward in the mix, that's very good, but the background is underlying. It, it gives more prominence to the voice, but it's not like you're watching a movie, more rather. It's like you're listening to a demo reel, which is what you want. It's not a bad thing. It's just what you prefer here. Now, let's keep listening. Find anything. Let's just jump into hyperspace and, like, call it a day. They're dead, and it's all your fault. We had every opportunity to save our squad, but you decided to turn tail and run! We will not win this war by fighting violence with more violence. We have to prove once and for all that we are peaceful. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop it there. One of the things that I get from both of these 
they show a wide range of different characters. Whether it's someone in the middle of battling, whether it's somebody who's just more so cartoony and over the top, whether it's someone who's more so down to earth and withdrawn, all of this is animation, but it shows a range of different characters and a range of styles. So whether you have to be someone who's energetic and high energy, or whether you have to be someone who's laid back and just, you know, kind of there, it shows that you have that wide range. But we're going to go listen to my old 2022 demo to see what I can improve on. All right, now that we've got that all set, let's go ahead and take a listen. What's up, bad guys? So, I'd love to stay, but I do have an exam in about an hour, so if you could just put on these handcuffs- Whoa! You can shoot lasers? That's so cool! Hundreds of years of pillaging and killing all Already those across that their over path. 10 can seconds. you imagine their inhumanity? Get up, boy! Show me your eyes. I need to see your eyes! <laughs> you were right. Sometimes you have to make the hard choices for the good of the clan. Hey! It's not like that, Kiminari. Shinzo didn't mean anything by it, did you? What do you mean you meant to? Okay, fine. I love you, all right? But it doesn't matter. You're with Genki. And don't get me wrong, I wish you both all the happiness, but damn it, Kari! I can't do this anymore. Now listen, I like bloodshed as much as the next guy, but you're really starting to piss me off. So either you tell me where they're going, or I'm painting this train with your blood. Your choice. Okay, okay. Taking a listen, that wasn't that bad. That was pretty good for a self-produced demo. Now let's talk about the differences. Before we get started just ripping on my old demo, I want you to drop down in the comments what do you hear is the biggest difference between my self-produced demo and the two professional demos that we took a look at. And any answer goes, let me know what's your honest opinion here. But I'll tell you what I think the biggest difference are. Number one, transitions. The transitions in my demo seemed a lot more like the second one. They were specifically like cut, 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 they didn't flow into each other. Now, like I said, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You don't need to have transitions that flow into each other, but it does help to kind of plod the whole thing along. It makes it so much better when you're listening to separate characters, but it seems like it's all one big long movie. Number two, transition times. Well, not specifically transition times, but section times. Some of them were kind of long-winded. What you want, once again, aim for that 10 seconds to be one of the longest and most strong characters. Other than that, if you're, you have weaker characters that you want to throw in, they still need to be good. Don't put garbage characters in your demo reel. But make them six seconds, six, seven seconds max. Just quick little snippets to show that you can do a new uh, type of emotion, a new character, a new accent, a new situation, things of that nature. And number three, the third thing that I will be changing when it comes to getting this demo reel off the ground is actually making sure that the characters feel more embodied and fully rounded. When it comes to a good demo, you need good script writing off the basis of popular things. When it came to this demo reel, I remember exactly what I did. I took popular tropes from 2022. I took popular anime tropes. Like for example, the first thing that we did, it's Spider-Man and I took that as my inspiration. So when it comes to this, I wanna have a, a more rounded script that seems original, more authentic, especially just like in the first, uh, the first demo that rocked section that we looked at. I wanna do a little bit more like that, make it seem a little bit more like a movie. This was the research. Research is extremely important to know what is popular out there so you don't make a demo that sounds dated. Step two, we're gonna be going over actual script writing and getting best ideas for that. But until then, see you guys later.